Hi everybody, um, I just wanted to come to you real quick. Right now, showing my hair, I have the Ayurveda conditioner mix that I have, that I made in it right now. And I'm letting it sit for a little bit. Then I'm going to rinse that out. And today, for the first time, I'm going to try using apple cider vinegar. So I'll let you know how I like that. And then also I have a um, products video up and coming for you so stay tuned for that and um oh yeah my apologies on the half frohawk thing what happened was um i had a banquet coming up and i had to try to decide between doing my hair again in the week before like that and then still having to do my hair for the banquet so i ended up not combing it for that week because I didn't want to have to stress my hair too much and then for the banquet I flat ironed it and I'll post pictures in this video to show you what that looked like and um, again like I said when I'm done washing my hair with the ACV and um, I'll come back and I'll show you what I use to put on my um, my braids as they are right now so, I'll be back here, but whatever. Did that, rinsed that out, and then did a quick co wash again. And now I'm going to deep condition the braids. And I'm using um, the Citronella Deep Conditioning Mask by Hair Vita. And it smells awesome and it's really good. It's been a while since I've used this, by the way, but I do remember when I used to use it on my hair. It did a pretty good job, so. I'm just gonna comb it through on the braids, making sure it gets to the ends, because that's where the end is, where the hair is most damaged, I should say. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna do this. So BRB, and then when I'm done, I'll show you how I put it up to. Make it sit there for a while. Be here. Be back. Okay. So I'm about to put it up into a bag so that it could penetrate the hair shaft and what have you. So hold on, let me find a bag. <clears throat> So get the plastic bag, try to shake everything back, put it on, make sure everything's tucked in. Kind of like roll the back of the bag and then just tuck it in and um could take this a step further by wrapping a towel on it or you could put on a heating cap but i'm just gonna do the cheapskate method today and um put this on it's a heat the shower cap for the heating cap that i have so i put this on so it kind of generates body heat and I'm not going to put the actual heating cap on today, but you get the idea. Put this on and then find something to do in the meantime. And then uh, in about, probably going to let this sit for 15 minutes or so. So um, I will be back after I've rinsed it out. And then um, I will show you the whole process of moisturizing the hair and you know sealing and all that good stuff so i'll be back. okay so i was trying to show you before that um i put the infusium but for some odd reason the camera has no sound on that part so i put infusium all over the scalp and then i sprayed the hair with um this moisturizer which is a blend of aloe vera gel glycerin castor oil 
conditioner and something else but the conditioner that I use was the RB Organics HSR and the Elucent Moisture Balance and Conditioner. Now I have my hair in sections and I'm going to apply the mixture of um, shea butter, aloe vera gel, and coconut oil. And why I did this, as I was trying to say before, was um, coconut oil is good for adding sheen and it also helps penetrate the hair shaft and the roots and strengthen the roots. Shea butter is a natural moisturizer, so that's always a good thing. Aloe vera gel is also a very excellent moisturizer for your hair and it also attracts moisture from so just, you know, your sections take about that much. Rub it. Rub, 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 rub together till it's sort of translucent. And then coat my hair in it pretty much. And especially focus in on the ends. Especially focusing on the ends. So, that's one section completely coated in. And if you feel like your hair needs more, by all means, add more. But I don't add too much because I don't let my hair feel, you know, weighed down with product or whatever. And the good thing about this is when it dries, it dries really light and airy and also really moisturizes the hair shaft. Now, I put them in this so I can know which sections I already um, applied this to. So, I'm going section by section. And if your hair was not in braids, like I do the same thing, do it section by section so that way you could ensure that your hair... Um, is well moisturized and um so give me a second to properly thoroughly apply this again focus in on the ends specifically yeah and now I know a lot of you probably be like but oh my gosh her hair looked white well, I'm not worried about that because I do know that once it dries, it will dry clear. So, right now my main concern is making sure my hair gets super moisturized. And I find that this combo, along with the uh, moisturizing spray, is absolutely great and fantastic for my hair. So... It's what I use. And now the last step is to seal the hair. And again, I want to do this in sections so I make sure I cover every last bit of my hair. <laughs> 